Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is my review of Formation by Elliot Girard. And of course, I would love you after this to head on over to onlinemagic.co, my online magic community that everybody loves. Trust pilot reviews are all five stars. Uh, and all very, very positive. So head over there, have a look at Trustpilot. I love doing it. It's it's 90% of my life uh, doing that course now, and I wouldn't have it any other way. So learn from a pro, onlinemagic.co, you see? Um, and do check out, uh, no, don't do that. Don't check out anything. Check out, oh, let's just go into it. Uh, this <laughs> by Elliot Gerard. This is my new favorite thing. Uh, I lose stuff all the time, so the idea that I could carry these around in my wallet is brilliant. It's, it's, they're based on the, um, the, you know the technology of pop-up tents, so you can just give them a little squeeze and they just, they just kind of pop up like that. And it's, it's great, because I'm so, you know, less likely to lose them. Um, formation, I keep wanting to call it AirPods, because it says AirPods on the front. And what he's done is he's created uh, almost like a, a really lovely piece of packaging. It's clearly a very good design. You look at his side, it looks beautiful. Um, and, and Elliot has created this lovely packaging. It says AirPods and there's a bit, if you see him, you can get a signature on it and it looks like a sort of Apple product and it's, it's brilliant. First of all, if you want your review straight down the line, I love it. I really, really love it. I saw him do this on All Things Magic, Wayne Dance's um, uh, Facebook page, which is wonderful, lovely community. And I saw it on there and just went, that's great. It can't really look that good, can it? I felt very similar to seeing that the first time I saw Level 1 by Christian Grace. As, as many of you will know, is I'm a huge fan of that trick. I think it's wonderful. I love the method. I love everything about it. It's elegant. It's, it doesn't mess around. And it, it gets to the point without being overproduced. Um, this is the, felt the same when I saw it. So I, I Messaged Elliot and said, Look, do you want to send me one of them? I'd love to review it. Now, he's doing this independently at the moment. I'm sure at some point it will be taken up by a big company. But it's always good to help. And I really wanted people to know about it. Then I got it and only picked it up a few days ago. And part of me was going, oh, is this, is it, am I going to be disappointed? Is it going to be something that isn't shown when he performs it? And I wasn't disappointed at all. It's brilliant, and in exactly the same, it's not like, it's a very different trick to level one, but in the same way, it kind of pleased me when I opened it. I kind of went, oh, right, that's great. And some people may open it and go, oh, but if you know, I think if, you, if, you, if you're a magician and you perform and you do stuff, you look at it and go, brilliant. Because it is the perfect everyday carry. Obviously, you're gonna want AirPods to do it. It does genuinely fit in a wallet, and it looks stunning. It's well made, so you're not gonna have to buy anything else for a very long time. He said it will last you years, I'm sure it will. The only thing that might happen is it might, the, the AirPod design might change. Now, it, he does go through a handling with the older generation AirPods. It's a little bit, I would say, tiny bit more tricky, but I don't think that much, and I think you're gonna be fine. And let's go on to the difficulty of this and the angles. Okay, so there are, angles is a thing with this. And I think the angles for this are very similar to the angles for the little hand. You know the little hand thing, which is what I just love doing it. And when you first get that, you go, it feels awful, people, awkward, people are gonna see that. And then after a while, you just you just know where to go. And it's a bit like that. So I wouldn't say it's angly because you're, you're protected everywhere, but, but if you're at the wrong angle, they're not kind of gonna see it very well. But once you've got it, 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 I found it for, for, for an hour or something, I was like, I just can't, it doesn't feel right. And then it just clicked and, and I felt right with it. Now, the, the one that I put on Instagram and Facebook uses a technique that you're going to need a table for and is going to be angle sensitive and is more, I would say, cut out for film and for video. It doesn't mean you can't do it at all. And we know you can do it without video because loads of people use this technique. But there are different techniques based on that technique that are better for when you're not filming, if you see what I mean. And he goes through all of these. My feeling is that when I perform this, I'm gonna use the version that doesn't leave you ending so clean. But I think that the misdirection of the trick is when it's so striking that you're gonna to have to do what you need to do with loads of time as you're handing out the AirPods or you're giving them, because people are gonna to wanna to see them because they're gonna know if they're hollow, you know, you've just got this card, so I think Again, don't make a big thing of that being the trick. The trick's happened, it's over. 
but they're there and people are going to be staring at that. So I think that getting things in and out of play is going to be absolutely fine because of the nature, because of the strength of the magic in exactly, again, the same way as level one. When you do that, you go, oh, but they're, they're re responding to this one moment. So when in performance with lay people, you just feel that time is relaxed. So you can kind of get away with what you want. Because again, that moment of, <gasps> and then the, re kind of not the relaxation, but you know what I mean, the tension and then the release. So no problems with that. And it is easier than level one, I would say. Level, level one is knacking, it takes a lot of practice. This does take a fair bit of practice, but it's, I still think it's a lot easier than level one. It's, it's, your hands on getting into weird positions is just a kind of little move that you're gonna have to, have to learn. And the one version I did probably is, I think it's probably the hardest to get right. And it, to be honest, it did take me a few takes because people can watch film, obviously, again and again and again. And don't forget that when you're performing it, even if there's a slight flash, and there was actually a very tiny one in the video, and funny how it was only a couple of magicians that picked up on that. In, in real life, because of where they're looking, like a cups and balls lows, if it's not perfect when you're using that technique I did on the video, they're not going to be looking there anyway. They're going to be looking at what appears. So, so again, don't completely disregard it and think it's just a social media trick. It genuinely isn't. I'm going to again do this on Saturday. I said again because I've recorded the last review um, about 10 minutes ago, but you're not watching this 10 minutes later, are you? So I am going to perform this as a gig on Saturday. If you look at Elliot's stuff, he reminds me of Tobias Dostal and people like that, Paul Harris, where he, he, he's got stuff on social media which is so innovative. He's looking for those different ways of doing things, those, those the magic tricks with not just everyday objects, but things that are on walls, you know, he's got, the, he's got a lovely thing where it's the um, male and female sign of it on, a, on a toilet door and he does a thing with that and he's got a beautiful thing with a paper boat that he does with spilt cola. It's, he's a real, he's got a great imagination and it's people like Elliot, I think that, you know, I and I think all of us should support when we can. So when you, if you get this trick, when, if you get this trick, and I know a lot of you have contacted me saying, where can I get it? Do use the links below. Be happy about how it arrives because it's, beautiful, it's elegant, it's slim lined, and it's great. And I think you'll really, really enjoy doing it once you get that little knacky thing of going, boom, there it is. And I did contact him, and, and, and it's one of those tricks that once you know and you do it, you, you sometimes can't see how good it looks because, you know, it's like a lot of magic. You can look at it and go, well, I can see it now, and I can't unsee it. So I sent him my video, and so when does this look all right? Because I don't know. And he's like, yeah, I had no idea. Um, so. Again, get someone to look at it, uh, I think, and you'll, you'll be surprised how good it looks. So there it is. Um, I think it's wonderful. Have a look at it. It is, um, I think, about £16 at the moment, which is a bargain. I think a real bargain. And thank you, Elliot, for sending that to me. Um, do like and subscribe. Do ask any questions in the comments, because I'm bound to forget a load of stuff. And... Um, I will answer those questions on a Thursday evening show at five. It's August, it's hot. Some of the shows on Thursdays aren't happening, but after August, we'll get back to a, a, proper, a proper routine when the kids are going back to school, basically. So, uh, and I can work in this office a bit more. So thanks very much. Have a great one. Please now go over and check out onlinemagic.co. Just have a look at it. It's, it's a belter of a thing, 600 videos, like I said, and just... Added, just added a new uh, chapter to the Royal Road course, which I'm starting to think is the best thing I've, I've ever done. If you want a road map with your card magic, I've, I'm filming every single thing in that book, the Royal Road to Card Magic, and I'm now up to, I think, chapter 10. And I'm adding a, a chapter to it basically every few months, so it takes me a long time. But anyway, there you go, I'm waffling. Of course I am. Have a great one. Take care. See you later.